All right, welcome back. Uh, so today, uh, we're gonna try making uh, a homemade cart for the uh, Bonafide SS-127. Uh, the main frame's gonna be out of PVC, one inch PVC. Uh, I prefer the Wilderness Systems cart. Uh, it's a little expensive, um, which isn't a huge deal. Uh, you know, you already spent so much on the kayak, which is kind of a part of it now. Uh, but with everything going on in the world, they're back ordered. You can't find them at any local stores. Who knows when it'll ship? Uh, the luck I have, it won't come to all these tournaments and the season's over with. So I'm going to build one if it works for the rest of this year. Great. Maybe I'll get a, you know, one from Wilderness next year. Uh, or if this keeps working and does its job, then this will be the one I just keep using until it fails. So, all right. So the first step is how I'm going to do it at least is drill a hole in the end of the uh, end caps and try to get my axle built first um, with this piece of threaded rod. So just need to drill a big enough hole to get this rod through. And we'll get that all straightened up and then we can start building from the bottom up almost like a foundation. Um, doesn't really so much matter how wide the wheels are. Uh, so I want to get that situated first, and then we can move on. Uh, the right one. So it looks like it's going to end with my biggest bet. So perfect. Alright, so I'm just going to put this wheel on this side. So what I'll have to do is <clears throat> um, cut this threaded rod once I find the right length. All right, so here's what I got so far. Um, I wanted the two uprights uh, to be in between uh, the catamaran part of the hull, which is a foot apart. Uh, again, with the pool noodles, It'll be, you know, it'll all fit in right. Uh, so from wheel to wheel, it's 27 inches wide. And then the center of these are just about 12 even. Uh, I added the little kickstand. This way you don't got to worry about trying to balance it as you're loading it. It'll just sit here, put the kayak on top as you strap it down straight and pick it up the kickstand will come up with it. So one little trick you can do, um, I've done this for a bunch of other things, after you dry fit it and you're happy the way it is, um, I just take a normal permanent marker and just make a little line from the joint to the pipe. This way you don't got to mess around with, um, you know, trying to get your angles right and all that again. Uh, you just simply line up all your lines, so. And it just makes it go a little smoother.
All right, so we're all glued together. Get the threaded rod cut. Pretty sturdy. So now we'll start the upright sections and uh, it should be good after that. So let's keep plugging along. So I'm gonna add these little upright pieces. Uh, one, so there's another support bar that'll come across here uh, just to prevent it from you know pushing in and then uh, <clears throat> basically I'll put these up here like that with my two sections and should do just fine so I'm gonna dry fit everything uh, you know when you're working with PVC measure twice cut once and glue it once so we'll get to measuring this up and uh, go from there all right so um, pretty much done uh, I'm gonna spray paint it up just so it looks a little better but I got the wheels wider than where the kayak itself is sitting on and you can see how this hole is shaped so I wanted the pads to be in between so when you put it right where it's gonna go uh, fits in perfect so I'm gonna drag this thing outside actually probably do it right here figure out a way to strap it down and uh, I guess we'll take it for a walk all right so it sits on there pretty good and you can see down the back of it lines up nice I just used a normal uh, cam style buckle strap. So let's give it a pull. All right, so. Uh, that's going to make life a lot easier now uh, at these launches. So uh, if you go back uh, three years ago, um, not too many videos ago, uh, I did another style on a sit-in style kayak, a much lighter kayak. So I just went through the scupper plugs or holes. Uh, so if you want to do something like that uh, with a lighter one, there's a video on that too. And uh, Again, I think I saved myself quite a bit of money, so once I get everything cleaned up, I'm going to go do the math, and uh, I'll let you know what the total was. So, throw a quick coat of paint on it, and uh, that's going to it's gonna help out a lot. So, if you have any questions about how I did something, uh, I might have missed something, so ask me, and uh, like always, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.